All right, it's a little recap on the last episode. Um, So we went and split the printing uh, functionality out into a separate class. And now we're calling an instance of that class. But in order to get the right language in there, we, we set up a constructor that requires when the class is built, you have to give me this information. And so I can't build a print stuff class anymore. I'm forcing it, the user they or the, the other programmers, the other uh, classes, that they have to pass me the information saying what language is it. Well, what if I want to have English as a default? So with constructors, we can have more than one constructor. We can have one for if they pass in a language, but we can have one for what if they don't pass in a language. So I can have another print stuff and just have the parentheses be blank and then do nothing. Nothing passed in. <laughs> now, if I do that, then even if I don't have anything in there, the program will still function. Now, as it turns out, it's not going to print anything, right? Because if I run this, it's dependent on the, the language being set. I have an if statement that says, if the language is English, do this. If it's Portuguese, do this. And currently, the language is nothing. And so I could do a couple of different things. One is if nothing's passed in, this is probably the best thing to do. I was gonna say I could set it up here as a default and say English is the default. But probably better is if nothing is passed in, let's go ahead and set the language that can be seen by any method in this class equal to English. I gotta be able to type right. Okay, so now if I run this program with nothing in the parentheses and type Spencer, then it's going to default to English because that's what I put in as the default if they didn't pass anything. This is called overloading methods. In this case, it's a special method as a constructor, but we could do the same thing with the print name. We could say, look, we have a print name, but I'm going to copy this whole thing and I'll have a second one that if they don't pass in any name, then I'll just print out hello John or Jane Jane Doe. Hello John or Jane Doe and then we can do the same thing down here. Oi John or Jane Doe. And so we have a print name method if they do pass the string in, and we have a print name method if they don't. And so now on this end, if I just say, we're not gonna pass anything, and then run this, I can enter, enter in whatever I want to, but if I don't pass it in, it'll say, hello, John or Jane Doe. And that is called overloading methods. They have the same exact name, but we can go in and say, well, this one, if they give me a string, and if they give me an integer, and if they give me a Boolean. <laughs> and this one is if they give me a, a integer first and a Boolean. I should give it a name, blah. And so we can set up different iterations of this method and depending on what it is they type in then we can use that uh, method that matches it and so the method this is called the method signature the method signature needs to be different but the name can be exactly the same and then we can do different things depending on what it is the user passes in all right i'll take this out And we'll put this back to normal. But hopefully those concepts make sense. So we can have a constructor. The constructor can either be blank and we'll set a default, or we can, uh, if, if they pass something in, then we can set the language equal to this. And again, 
we're, we're dealing with scope here. We have, you know, this issue of temp can only be seen within these braces. And so we declare a variable up at the class level that can be seen by the entire class. And um, now any of these methods can see it. And then I just take what's passed in and really quickly turn around and set it equal to the variable that is up where the whole uh, class can see it so that we can use it. And then it will make this decision inside this class of which language it, that we want to print. All right, so that's your little crash course in C Sharp. And uh, what we're going to do next is just run through uh, an example, writing a program together, um, just a problem to solve. And we're going to go through and go through that example together. Spencer out.